Hello. We're doing the talk about the Richard Dawkins uh, picture that we did, but we're doing a little bit unconventionally because uh, <laughs> we're driving through the soundings of the Suffolk countryside with uh, Luna. We're going off to Shingle Street so she can have a run in the sea. Um, it's a little bit cold, it's seven degrees. But yeah, so we did the picture of Richard Dawkins because he's going to be in our large picture. He's obviously one of the uh, main people in there. Um, it's uh, we, we did a picture of him where we took a screenshot of him laughing, which is why it maybe doesn't look like him a lot. We thought we'd challenge ourselves. His eyes are half closed and it's not the normal generic picture that you'd see of him on the... Uh, yeah, the reference live. picture was quite blurry as well. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't see the eyes. So it's it quite quite hard to do, but you know... We made that bit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got to challenge ourselves a little bit, haven't we? Um, the, the suit's got a load of writing in it because uh, cause Rich Dawkins, uh, uh, apart from his work as a... Uh, um, biologist is obviously known for his atheism, atheism and uh, he um, so it's about not 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 maybe not being a god and I always think when you read um, the Tao Te Ching by uh, Lasso uh, it's, it's all about uh, something that's not there it's, it's a very famous poem it's the most it's the most printed uh, piece of literature after the Bible apparently and so it's basically a, a poem about something that if you see it you can't see it if you hear it you can't hear it so it's about something that's not there. So I thought, you know, I thought that was probably quite appropriate kind of words to put in this suit because obviously, as I say, Richard Dawkins is talking about a god that he says doesn't exist, and and that's what that poem is about. So that that's why it's in there. Anyway, so we are going through the, uh, the woods at the moment, and uh, the roads are quite flooded because there's been a lot of rain. And Lil Loon is desperate to get to the beach. So, um, thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bloody great big cuddle here. Ooh, <laughs> and, uh, Maybe we uh, should stop filming now. Maybe. <laughs> well, we went to the beach and it was really, really, really windy. <laughs> and then I got my foot got covered in the waves, and now we're going to head home and get warm. And, uh, Luna's absolutely soaked. Michelle's totally windblown. And uh, as always, it seems like such a wonderful idea to go out to the uh, the coast in the winter. And when you get there, it's just such a like a chaos of wind and rain, and cold. <laughs> yeah. What it does is it. You get there, you come back, and you think, I just want to go home and have a cup of Earl Grey tea, <laughs> which is what we're going to do. Plus, we've got about three. Three paintings on the go today as well, which we need to do some working out anyway. So that's really good. So anyway, we're just going back with the sandlings. And that's the uh, US Army base hidden in the trees over there, which is where they saw the, uh, the UFO. <laughs> if you believe in UFOs. <laughs> a UFO sighting, the Rendlesham UFO sighting. So uh, uh, anyway, yeah. here's to something more interesting. I think you're going to like this. Be savvy down a bloody picture. <laughs> hey. This is uh, a picture I've been working on for a few months. Uh, it's, uh, it's an underwater one, and uh, we've been. I spent a lot of time doing the bubbles, and uh, you know, we planned it and everything, but it's just not working really. Here it is. You can see all the, the bubbles. It took a lot of time to do. It's actually had a wash over it because we tried to wash it down. It's kind of got this nice silvering going on, and I feel really attached to it. So um, <laughs> we're going to sand it down. <laughs>
So Michelle's covering it with Indian red now. And uh, we've got another one over here. This is another pool one that we were working on, but we can't quite get it to where what we want to do. So we're going to take this one down as well. So I'm going to sand down the heavy bits, and then Michelle's going to take it down and put another coat on it. Indian red. Yeah. 